What's up guys, this is the Reverend and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to pick up what happened last time, we ended on a note of the Prussian force that was uh, occupying Brest has now finally moved out of position, and I'm going to take this opportunity to force them to attack me. Because I have overwhelming artillery advantage within the form of these 24 pound howitzers, they got lots of lice in elite infantry and they have some horse artillery, but it will not save them. Um, because I've got the, um, I was pretty okay with just leaving them, effectively tying up one of my, one of theirs to move, um, just to force them in a position where they have to attack me, and then when this force has been, I don't, because I won't destroy them in this battle, um, but in the them off quite quickly. <gasps> Ooh, ambush, 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 ambush. Okay. Well, I have not fought an ambush battle for some time. So this is going to be absolutely going to be my artillery side. Or at least my... So they deploy inside this box in column. So I'm going to want to deploy my artillery here with shrapnel shot ready to blast into them. Probably another one here. Shrapnel shot to blast. Let's deploy my... Scatter deploy my uh, mortars and howitzers. So on this flank what I want to have is to have a strong infantry force. Hold on, let's check my deployment zone. My deployment zone is here. Okay. So the goal for me would be to deploy a strong infantry force here. Move up, capture this ridge and pour fire down into their position. That would be the hope. That's one. So that's one flank. That might be f a bit too many, actually. I think let's do four. Two, three, four. It's probably super risky and could go really wrong. And then over here, to be honest, it might mean I have to deploy my artillery in a slightly smarter way. So let's deploy some guards in the centre to protect them. Let's put some provincial scouts on the flank. Let's keep my horse guards over here on the right. General in the centre. So this unit with quick okay. So this unit with quick climb can cover the entire deployment zone. Okay. So they should. Scouts are being deployed. Not scouts, sorry. Cavalry is being deployed. Scouts are going to get hit, so... Deploy my cavalry. These guys need to move up to help support this flank. 
I've been very unequal about in how I deploy my infantry support. Turn on skirmish mode. Let's get my guard in the square. Well, I can safely say I definitely unbalanced my flanks. Get one of my horse guard units out of the fight. Let's keep these guys fighting with these pikemen. It's going to get chopped up. Let's deploy my general to chase after. So yeah, let's deploy my general to chase down this line infantry. Pikes have done a. Uh, Pikes have done done the sneaky sneak. Could lose my howitzers, but say Levy, I can replace my howitzers. Okay, let's deploy my cavalry. So you re-equip your battery, you re-equip your battery, but still ultimately hot fire in all domains. So who remains? Unless they have a unit that's in camouflage. No, we're definitely going to continue. Let's get one unit to chase down Swiss Grenadiers, one unit to chase down this Swiss line of tree, and let's triple speed it. Let's keep everyone deployed. Mostly because I wanted to... I need to destroy as much of the Prussian army as I can while I can. Come on, there's two of them. Try stages it chased down this regiment of foot, and no, they're going to make it. So sprint in this direction. Two Swiss Grenadiers. Excellent. Four. So that was a bit of a weird deployment of flanks. At my cost. I don't know if I've lost, I completely lost an artillery unit. Yeah, I did. But still, they're now left out on the gold. Oh, Prussians are still going to come out and raid. That's fair enough. Okay, I'm just going to water resolve that. Victory is <laughs> ours. <laughs> 
choose to intercept. No. I want to get up there and try to see if I can get a another army in support with a load of howitzers and drop lots of nasty quick climb over the wall. That's gonna really that's gonna be a tough nut to crack, Istanbul. Eventually. Are we at peace with Istanbul? With the Turks? Could well be. Looks like they're worried about the Russians mostly. Well, I'm not overly concerned about anything. <laughs> Things seem to be going okay. Need to do some reinforcements, but fortunately I've got the money to do it. Uh, I need to keep spending on my economy. Otherwise I'll get to a position where um, I start running out of money drastically, which obviously I do not want. Oh, Russians are continuing their invasion of Sweden. Which is their prerogative. They've not achieved anything else over the whole game. Still trading with the Persians. Although eventually they'll declare war on me. Because they've got a few stacks. And the AI will do what the AI does. Well, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So where are they going to go? That's the interesting question. Yes, as of now, I'm currently at war with the entire world, pretty much. So the Spanish are going to go seek refuge in Iceland. Knock the Danes out of the game, at least. Nick on the Westphalians. But they've given me time to replenish. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Oh, I'm quite well provisioned. So you were going to go up to the Ottoman border and we're, we're at peace with, so instead you will go over to the... to this border and start pushing into Persian territory. Yeah, income 6,000. That is not much at all. So you need to come over here and start earning some money too. Send them from tax, they'll like you. Yes. Send them over to Transylvania. Send this army up here to behind Austria. Ready and waiting for. And let's make two howitzers, no howitzers. Okay, so let's pull Grenadier Guards back. Drop these artillery into this the army. Siege this is like a very profitable region, so let's Settle take it. Radio should do this. Got plenty of reserves. Improve some of fortifications. That's fair enough. But let's attack. It's going to dig in a while. That and we will have absolutely plenty of troops to back up the fight. Yeah, let's get my artillery to work on the walls and let's get my 
how it says to work on the um might be quite methodical about this okay so i put deploy my cannons here so i can quickly swivel between breaching here and breaching there and if i deployed them with quick climb now they've got quite good coverage so let's do that Spread out my line infantry. Spread out my fusiliers. General in the centre. You all focus on that breach. You can just fire well at whoever you like. I want to see them hit here though. Look at that. First round. Yeah, they're hitting my howitzer teams, but this wall will be destroyed in short order. Dragoons, cuirassiers, lots of good cav. The roll of our guns will be unstoppable. is going to get ready to fire again. Still reloading. This one's bugged by the looks of it. It's been knocked out a few of our guns, but we've got plenty. There we go. Fire. Oh, nice. They've all clumped together. Absolutely devastating. So let's retarget re one of these units to go hit this unit of line infantry behind the gate. This unit can keep. Well, I don't know. Fire round shot because you start dropping it on the centre. One more. Damn. I want to watch the howitzers for a minute. Okay, so these guys are targeting the centre. I'm going to watch over here first, see if I can quick climb that unit to death. And I certainly did. Whew. My shots in the centre did land true. Excellent. Cool, and this unit, you blow a hole in that wall. I presume that's them bugging out, they're not actually planning on uh Oh there you go, so got some more howitzers landing in the centre. Yes. Lovely, lovely shots. But yeah, let's keep letting my howitzers do the work. Because they're doing such a good job. Particularly destroying the uh, inf the uh, cavalry centre. Some more quick climb dropping into the gap. They've missed. I might make them do round shot and also aim at the centre because it's this cavalry that's the most dangerous to me. 
got lots of good quality heavy cavalry in the center. What's that? I think that's what? Three, five, six, seven units of cavalry? So they're still doing their job. No, they should still be there or should still be hitting that gap. No, they're all trying to... You know what? Fair enough. That was pretty good. So I'll make these guys do a quick climb and start trying to hammer the centre. Hammer the breach, rather. I didn't think it'd be possible for them to hit there. That's a howitzer going off. Oh, yes. There's another shot going off. To be honest, made more round shot, hit the centre. So once that centre's gone, I could advance and catch the. You know, I can just engulf the entire fortress because I have the numbers. Let's triple time it a bit. No, oh, no, not triple time it. That looks really ugly. Well, go on. See, because they were doing it. No. I guess they finally bugged out. But still, my howitzers are dropping rounds inside. Oh, wow. Nope, can't get percussion shells in there, sadly. Yeah, once I deal with their cavalry. To be honest, I could still move up. Well, once I've breached this wall, I'll move up on this flank, because my line infantry can hold themselves. That is good experience earning for my howitzers. Too bad about this bugged one. I'm pretty sure my fusiliers are just not as no, they're not exactly a um storming force. Let's move my fuse layers up in a big wide line that says if you do try and attack me I can pour lots of fire onto you. Oh wow, that was huge. You see that bouncing cannonball then that just hit there and then went bam 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 bam. Good, one more volley, then we'll be through here. So let's move out my line infantry in preparation. Here comes the cavalry. So in that case, then let's get you back onto quick climb and hitting the breaches. 
Well, no, let's get even quick climb and aiming at the cavalry that's charging, actually. You can remain on round shot, aiming at the centre. Oh, is that some quick climb coming in? It sure is. Oh, I heard a quick climb shot come in then. Yeah, lots and lots and lots of dead horses. So let's line these guys up so they can actually start firing inside. Well, let's run them. Fusiliers can pick apart this Firelock Arm citizenry. Ooh, quick climb over here, please. Are they going for this house? Can I target that house with my artillery? Just skim over the top. You know, where I want my fusiliers is up on this wall in here. Like up here, firing down onto them. That's where I want them. So let's make... Oh, no, keep you firing quick line. Let's get you... No, don't fire. You can keep firing round shot to the centre. Just advance you up slowly. Advance these guys up. Oh, wow. Excellent shot. Oh, wow. Do that quick climb unit hitting this unit of marines. Everything else, fine. You can send my guys in. But it's just that unit of marines. So we're going to get these guys here to plant stakes, then form square, track as a blocking force. Okay, now my guys are getting just a bit too close, so let's do round shot. Back into the, uh, the centre. Form square. Form square. Form square, you drop your stakes. Let's get out of square, get out of square. Let's anger yourself so you don't shoot into that, men. Well, 
send you up over the wall. Just send a few of them up and around the wall. And then let's send these guys into the breach. I want these guys to get up here first before I do anything too crazy. So they're firing at me. Yes. Did manage to draw to to drop um, drop stakes because very very nicely some of my guys decided to run up in here. This thing with Empire, they sometimes just suddenly think that the best way in is through the breach. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Try to get some of my line infantry to form up separately on the wall. Oh, real frame rate drop now. It doesn't know what to do. Okay, so let's say I do this. If I pull back from the breach, let's see how much that helps. Because ultimately, this capturing the walls is what's going to do the most good. You'd think it would do some good, but it's not. Okay, let's get into position to fire onto the oncoming reinforcements. Let's run my line infantry in. Okay, now hit them, because you've got more surface area. Form square, because otherwise you're going to get absolutely reamed. You quick climb. No, oh, you can't quick climb. Brown shot. This you know, gendarmerie. Don't quite know where that guy's running. He 
attacking him. Well, I'm sure getting a getting a foothold against that militia unit. The rest of my guys are climbing the wall. Let's get one of the guys inside the wall, inside the um, this house. There's still lots of cavalry about. Yeah, that's what will happen. Spread the line out a bit more, actually. into position and fire it well. Let's run you into here. Yeah, they're routing, which is fair enough. They're getting absolutely hosed. Comes Union of Crassier, so preemptively form square. And these guys over here. Basically, I wanted these guys to run up to form up their own units separately, and it looks like it won't be too long till they're ready. Some of these guys are bugged out down here, so they're going to take a while to get into position. Pushing up through the left breach. Oh, poor fire down onto the marines. Yep, yeah, getting shot to bits. So how goes it with you guys? These other units almost formed. To be honest, let's abandon this, these guys then. Reinforcements are coming in, but I don't really care about them. If these guys make ready, they can pour fire down onto the uh, horse units downstairs. For anything, I want you to run down here, I think. Let's form a new battle line. Let's get my house is working on. There are other units, line infantry guards. To be honest, I haven't even got a quick line them. Oh, your guys are going to get such a quick line in. Oh, let's get you up here actually to start the ticker.
Uh, it was this unit of infantry that routed. Let's get them to charge down to the rear of the breach of the Dragoons. This guy's done very well to survive for as long as he has. Yep, they're going to get some units to charge into my uh, guards, but it's not going to work, see? Quick line my own guys! Quick line my own fusiliers! It'd be worth it for the massive glob of troops that will get killed. There we go, and this combo over in this breach just got. they've got absolutely flanked. Shot down in his prime. There you go. Oh, yeah, got quick climbed, and that's the end of my uh, infantry unit. So let's get. Let's get these guys in position to act as a bit of a blocker, although they're not going to get in there in time. It is tempting actually to do this. Oh, hit that unit of marines, that would be delicious if you could. No, you're bugged out. Oh, they're just being silly. They're setting the battle. Oof. It's a bit of a slog, but you're in a city like Vienna from a power like the Prussians. So they lost a lot of men, but they lost all of their forces, including all their reinforcing armies as well. Lifting siege. And Venice is mine, and my income's actually gone down. Let's replace... Minister of Europe? No. Oh god, Treasury, you need to go. You're the reason why. Good, let's replenish, 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 replenish. Then let's replenish. Yes, sir. Send this unit in to hit them, just to wipe out the dregs. And you do need some inf some artillery. It's gonna take a while to get there, I'm but ready. good. Works on strike, not totally. Uh, no, they're okay now. Commercial basin. Let's get it. Global trading company. Let's build, build, build. build economic stuff and get ready to fire my minister. Trish University, don't really need it. Burn it down. Build this. Build this. Well, actually what I might have to do is build a church school. I don't know if Turkey's particularly unhappy with me. They are a bit... They are a bit unhappy with me, but I could still do with um, some missionaries to run around here and do my well. Maybe let's go to Europe and start grading some of my ports to commercial basins. Oh, not Europe, America. Oh, I've already done that. I've already done that by the looks of it. And let's take this sloop, get them into New York. Let's get this Sorry. army. Oh, they've not fully recruited. They need two more units of troops. Next turn, I'll deploy them to 
not to India, but somewhere into Europe. So we got a lot of guys. A lot of guys hanging around not doing anything. Take the Light Dragoons and the two sharpshooters. Yeah. Let's take the Light Dragoons, the two sharpshooters, put them into Luke and Brooker's force. Then they need some artillery. All of my trade is being raided or has been blocked. Somewhere I'm not entirely sure where. The Russians and the Polish are at war. Lots of construction. No, don't be don't build military stuff yet. Build um, industrial stuff. Are you being taxed? You're not being taxed. You are now. Okay, so I might do this quickly. Who? Isn't isn't being taxed because lots of places probably aren't being taxed when they should be. Just keep them untaxed for now. Turkey needs to be untaxed. Baghdad can be taxed. You can be taxed. God, some of these have been untaxed for a long time. Is London being untaxed? You can be taxed now for sure. That's 14,000 a ten. Amsterdam as well. Holy moly, that's a lot of regions. So income, my income's immediately gone up to 62,000. Okay, so they're ready to withstand another assault from there. To be honest, this army's going to do a old end around and hit their city. And I'm not going to attack them because they've got loads of mortars, but I'm going to lay siege to them. Send this army up here at Hanover. They replenish. They're going to head south. Bavaria. Indifferent. Indifferent. You can't mean different. This is total war. But anyway, looking at that timer, I've definitely overran by a long way. And this is the end of this part. So hopefully you enjoyed that battle, guys. And uh, just before we go for a bit of closure. Sliced and diced. Just for a bit of closure. And yes, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully we'll see you in the next part as I continue my push eastward. Well, to be honest, I'm, I'm actually having more fun running riot around there, around this area rather than necessarily pushing them in in, in Europe. Um, but yes, hopefully you've enjoyed, guys, and I will see you next time.